I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to Let's Play Earth Tongue. Like, how many months has it been? It's been a lot of months. It's been a multitude of months. So, um, I guess this warrants some explanation. The game is going to get mod support. Uh, mod support is not out quite as of the recording of this. Uh, there's still some <coughs> testing and uh, Steamworks integration. So, basically the game is getting mods. It's getting full Steamworks integration, so you'll be able to share stuff on there. Um, you can also play mods from the itch.io version, uh, though Steamworks will make it a little more convenient. Um, the game also comes with two new updates, one of the Celestial Hills, um, which is very challenging, um, pretty cool graphics, and then my favorite, Pumpkin Knolls, oh, a little, that's being fixed, um, yeah, the, oh, the game also has 1080p support, I forget if it, I know it didn't for a while, I'm not sure if that's new to this version or new to a version I hadn't played before. I'm sure the scrolly thing will be fixed. Um, so yeah, these are both created by the original creator, Eric Kermit. Um, this, everything in Pumpkin Knolls is very prolific. Um, hopefully I jarred a world, otherwise I can recreate one. All right. Um, oh, oh, the licky ghosts. Okay, I wanted to show you a new world, but first, these licky ghosts, um, they're like cockroaches in the original version and they just eat everything. All right, let's, um, let me, I'll just, pan around what can happen here first. Um, I had a pretty good world going here. Um, oh, this stuff. What is that called? Ah, oh, what is that? The noose vine. The noose vine is ridiculously difficult to get rid of, but the uh, these little buddies um, help get rid of it. Um, you gotta use them very tactfully, though. Th and that's one thing. You can pick up um, um, I keep wanting to say enemies. You can pick up bugs and spores now. So you can, um, unlike, like, I had a lot of trouble getting stuff to work out in my original, um, Let's Play. Like, stuff was fairly hard, but now that you can control stuff more directly, let's just kick up the speed here, um, you can do a lot more, like, um, it can be hard to grow stuff, um, like, some stuff requires a lot of attention, and it can be really hard to get fussy plants to grow well, um, if they just land wherever, but if you can pick up the little things and plant them and then pick up the little bugs that try to eat them, um, it goes a long way to, uh, being able to keep stuff alive. So in this world, I actually had to kill, like systematically kill a whole ton of the stupid noose weed. Um, and one way to do that is you can raise up the platforms here and noose vine can't climb. So you just raise up a section like this, you fill it with bugs, and it just culls all of it, and then you can replant stuff by picking up a little spore like this and dropping it in there. So that is really cool. Um, that explanation out of the way, I'm going to clear out this world. And Oh, I love these little baby pumpkin stalks. Like, oh man, I just love the uh, pumpkin hill look. So um, I'm going to go ahead and recreate this world. And we'll take a look at how it shapes up. The Pumpkin Hill, I recommend playing Pumpkin Hill first, kind of. Like, it's just, it's so quick to watch stuff. Like, if you want an easy game mode, you play Pumpkin Hill. But, give me a second here. Barker, you're laying on the keyboard, and I can't stop the recording while you're doing that. Thank you. I kind of like that it, what lets you watch it be generated. Let's put some dirt in the rocks there. And if you're... Ah, oh, no. It's a noose fine. And you can change a lot of stuff with the... Uh, hmm. Let's plant this somewhere where it can't spread too far. Ooh, that's a much better plant here. That I forget what that's called. No, not another noose fine. Like... I seem dramatic, but this stuff grows, like, ridiculously. Ah, oh, there's already... Frickin' news fine. Alright, speed it up a bit. Um, oh, like I said, this is basically easy mode, and, um, oh wait, no, the coffins are actually monster eggs. I, I forgot about that. Um, so we just have news fine. The interventions are way more common in, uh, in this mode. That's another thing you can do. Like, you can, you can affect all sorts of variables about how bugs and plants act, um, how hardy they are. You can, um, 
Spiders. I, I like the spiders, but they're normal. Like, they were in the main game. So they're not too exciting here. I love the Licky Ghost. That's uh, very much a... Uh, oh. I forgot I muted the... I play this in the background, usually. So uh, I usually end up with the uh, music muted. It's not bad music, it's just... In my opinion, the ideal way to play this game is to leave it um, open in a window and just peek in uh, whenever you feel like uh, checking on it. Not another noose vine! Oh my god! Uh, let's try that again. Ah! Candy corn. Everyone hates candy corn, but still. It's better than noose vine. Noose vine is just super common and it's really hard to kill. Um, and candy corn, it's like... My favorite is the... Uh, where is that? The one that grows up to be one of the, like a little one of these, um, the pumpkin things. And look at how happy they are! They're so cute. Um, I love that one. And um, oh, a wisp. Wisps are dumb, and they fly around and like they hope they land on food, basically. Oh no, you can go eat anything but these. These, these are my jam. All oh, right, and I the bone hands are pretty cool too. I guess we can just read some of the uh, info on these guys. So this is one of the carnivorous plants. Oh right, we haven't even seen the carnivorous plants. Um, Earth Tongue got updated since I played it, adding a lot of features, including the terraforming and the ability to move spores. Um, it also added a bunch of carnivorous fungus. So like, um, well, we probably don't have any bone thingies. We don't have any carnivorous plants, so we'll have to import one. Um, pumpkins work. Nerd. Let's do the bone root, actually. So this is really cool. You can feed almost any carnivorous thing. You can easily feed pretty much any bug you have lying around. Some will only eat flying bugs. That's a hand. And see, it grabs it. You can't see it too well because of the background. But it grabbed the um, the bug. I keep trying to say enemy. They're not enemies. They're bugs. Um, it grabs the bug and eventually... Oh! Spider! Cool stuff. I also really like how the spiders... The spiders build these webs that catch any... Um, well, they usually catch flying bugs. I think it'll catch normal like ground bugs too. But um, they'll catch bugs and kill them. So if you got something fragile, like um, something that's really susceptible to being eaten, uh, you just want to put spiders around it, and anything um, anything that tries to interrupt that plant, your spider will kill. And that's cool. Oh, I think we, I think I missed. Oh, jack o' lantern, good stuff. Uh, see, this is what I'm talking about. These freaking noose vines are ridiculous, and um, they grow way too fast. Um, so what you do, I. Um, Oops. No. You keep that crap. No. Frickin'. Okay, hold on. I need the normal cursor. Okay. Normal cursor. Okay, it died anyway. What you what you want to do, if you got a plant that you don't like... Well, I guess I showed you earlier. What you do is you raise up these posts. And then you grab some really voracious bug. And you shove it in there with them. Uh, licky bugs are really good for this. Licky bugs. Oh! Oh! Let me show you the pumpkins. You can feed things to the pumpkins too. And then they barf out spores. And a lot of the the carnivorous stuff, it will only ever um it only um What am I trying to say here? Um they'll only produce spores. Oh god. Actually, Boom! Um, it'll only produce spores. No. No, you don't. <clears throat> if you, uh, feed it something. Excellent. Thank you, little wisp. Hungry bugs can be very useful for clearing out just single tiles, so... Let's find some bugs. Spider's gone extinct. Yeah, that's fine. Oh! Licky ghost! Licky ghost! Okay. Just put that licky ghost in there. See if we can find some more. You really need a swarm of bugs to properly cull a plant. So let's just spam sticky ghosts. 
And sticky ghosts are very prolific. They'll, um, we'll get too many sticky ghosts if we, um, let them spawn too much too. But, uh, sticky ghosts, oops, did I forget to pick it up? You can kill a bunch of sticky ghosts pretty easy with, um, I think spiders and there's also this chompy dude, Revenant. Those are really cool. They fly down and then whenever they find something they want to eat, they just drop. Yep, there we go. You buy oh! And they only fly in one direction. So, um, uh, they're really confused by flying enemies, but they, um, they clean up corpses real well. Not that corpses are necessarily bad in this game, but, uh, oh, pff, he's chasing him! He's chasing him! I love the, I love the interactions in this game. It's, they're just really great. Oh, and meteors are new. We saw that and I forgot to talk about that. You, meteors can fall and they'll destroy a bunch of plants. Um, blue meteors uh, leave behind a bunch of nutrients, so they're actually kind of a net positive as long as they don't like make one of your plants extinct. Um, red meteors leave fire, which you can douse with water. Blue meteors are not blue. Green meteors leave radiation. So these guys are not cleaning up as well as I expected. Let's let's create a more focused murder area here. Let's get that guy out of there. Oh, and these these I was trying to show you these earlier. The the skull thing or the skeleton hands drop these bones when they consume something. It's really cool. Honestly, this is my favorite environment, even over the regular. See, this this is this is why I want to kill the news fine. It's completely excessive. And see, even all these licky ghosts have a hard time killing it. The only saving grace for trying to destroy this crap is that it's uh, really easy to uh, block in. Because the spores only go up, I think, one. Yeah, one unit or so. So you just rise this up about three high. And uh, I can't go over it here anymore. One thing you can do is order a meteor, and there you go. And then we want to raise this up, so now it's impenetrable, and so now we can... This is a lot easier to do in Pumpkin Hill because you get so much of this, or Pumpkin Knolls, but uh, you get so much more stuff, so much more interventions. It's a lot easier to shape, that's why it's a really great beginner map. So, what, what do I want to protect with the air? Uh, not the spider vines, these guys. Um, these plants don't need any aerial protection, the, the grabby hands and stuff, because they'll eat stuff. I don't think the spider fi or the uh, pumpkin stalk keep alive for 5,000 age. Okay. I'm surprised I haven't done that. I, I don't know if you can feed the... No, I don't think those get fed. See, the the stick, the stick licky ghosts are so prolific. Um, they'll just spawn a pile and they'll just keep eating each other and it's it's kind of ridiculous and um, I hope that you never want to get rid of sticky ghosts because they're pretty... Like, even if I just fed all the ones that I could into these dudes, it's not even going to make a difference. On the plus side, great food for all of your carnivorous plants. Oops. As long as you drop them into them properly. Yeah, just the ability to move spores and move plants. Look at all the bones! That's so good. I didn't know ghosts had bones. You learn something every day. Yeah, I just love the changes to this. And, um, the candy corn plant's kind of boring. Noose vine. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, look at that. I could get rid of it easier with meteor. Like, if I wanted to, I could clear it out quicker. But, uh,. I just want to give you a general idea of how these things go. Oh! They did it! They did it! They'll eventually starve in there if nothing else migrates. Let's just let them lick it all up. And they'll eat their own dead. They're they're basically roaches um, for the main game. I don't really have any use for you. But they make a great cleanup crew, and they clean off after their own corpses. See, look at that! That was a fast cleanup. So now that we have, <clears throat> excuse me, now we can fill that in with this last plant type. We haven't. Wh where to go? 
whatever. We have plenty of interventions. Let's not be too conservative here. Oh! It accidentally got planted. Okay. Okay, hold up. I need to plant these guys on my stupid, terrible noose vine. Look at those... Those slimes are going at it, and, uh... It's still not enough to deal with all the noose vines. Let's kill most of these. But it just makes the game so much more active now that you can control where the... You can control the vine... Or not the vines, the... the spores. You can blow up spores with, um... As in blow like the wind. With this, which, uh... Oh, I guess it spawns spores, too. But, um, that'll help you spread your existing, uh, plants around. Ugh. Stop that. I'm trying to kill these things, and it's kind of... And the last one... The last one... We'll go kill some more noose vine, because it sucks. Oh wait, first let's kill the- you want to kill the one- you don't want to let it rise up on a pillar because it'll still cross over. But you want to cull that one as soon as possible. Yeah, that's pretty much the general idea behind the new- the mods and uh, this one in particular. Let's take a quick look at Celestial Hills. That- that's more like a challenge mode. I think maintaining max diversity is easier because there's less- less- um, forms of life in this, but um, everything in here is a lot harder to keep alive in my experience. Um, wish flower, and yeah, the the story for this one's really interesting. Um, so like, basically it's this dream world, and uh, all the little plants we get they should not have been let in. I love that. They're like dreams and wishes and stuff. It's a really cool thing. The I love the ability the ability to add entry like lore entries to your creatures is super cool. I I'm not very good with uh, pixel art or anything. Otherwise, I was really tempted to make my own mod, but I I don't really have time for more hobbies and uh See, what are these cute little things? Do I have those in there? No, I don't. I haven't played this one nearly as much as um, Pumpkin Knolls. But... Oh, music. Gonna do a new loop, I guess. Um, it has some pretty cool stuff. Let's just spam some interventions. Did we get all the same type? No, this one's different. Oh no, is that the same one? That's the same one as what he had over there. Ugh. Don't be boring game. There's some really cool stuff in this. Oh, here's some new stuff. There's some really cool plants in this one. There's this one that grows vines like down and up and like randomly. And oh man, which one is that? Um I'm gonna assume it's that one. Uh crap. But it's just really cool and it grows all over. I think it's that. I don't know why that one's not growing though. But it just sort of climbs all over the place, and it's really cool to watch. There we go! There we go! That's what I wanted to show. And it can sort of- it can survive underground, sort of briefly. And like, escape being eaten, and just pop up elsewhere. It's really cool stuff. So you can do some cool stuff with the behavior of plants, too. I haven't dug too much into the modding, but, uh, it's pretty powerful so far. Um, and a lot of it's just editing text and images, you know? It's nothing, like, super difficult like in terms of so you have to read oh and there's a there's an included uh, text file that'll uh, show you how to do stuff it'll show you all the basics of modding I'm not sure the exact release date I'll find I'll find it out and I'll that'll be in the description uh, for now it's this will be this is a free update too this isn't like DLC um, and it'll be it'll be Steamworks integrated so you can get stuff from Steam you can also just download like a zip file and put it in your game if you have the itch.io version and don't play it on Steam. Well, let's import some. Uh, let's go to a populated place and import some bugs, and then we'll call it a day. Uh, let's leave those alone. We got lots of those blue flowers somewhere. I think you can edit the world size too. I think this is the world is larger than the uh, 
Or maybe I'm confused. I know we had a large patch of blue flowers, so they all just die out. Oh, whatever. Let's import some funguses and bugs. Aw, oh, we only had one. The nightmare! Yes! Let's watch the nightmare eat everything. Nom 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 nom. Aw, eat it! Eat it! Aw. But I like the nightmares, they're cool. Don't eat that plant, though, I just imported it. It's imported? Gosh. Dream cactuses or something. What are those? Moonroot? Oh yeah, see, like I said, the, the lore entries are really pretty cool. That the, um, the lore entries kind of, like, they're a really good incentive to keep playing. I love any sort of, like, bestiary or, like, extra lore stuff that you can add. Oh man, I love these things. These I think those are the dream stalks. I love the ones that grow really high or, like, have unusual behaviors. I don't know if I have a main, a normal world stuff. If I do, I'll take a quick look at it. If I don't, maybe I'll do another video later. Start. Is that Does start mean I don't have a world? Aw, it does. Oh well. Uh, maybe I'll do another video later with all of the new stuff. I love, I love watching that terrain generate. Someone should make, like, not even a game, but like a toy that just lets you generate terrain and stuff. Yeah, there's, we can at least look at the icons. So, like, there's new, like, there's cicadas that burrow underground and come out later. There's, um, there's more carnivorous plants. There's, uh, oh yeah, the red mantises, um, are cannibalistic, so they'll eat other mantises. And it makes them, um, I think it makes them harder to get, or easier to get rid of. There, does it? Yeah, see, it's, it doesn't overpopulate because it eats its own dang self. Where the mantises are real tough to get rid of. Ah, it's just boring pink mold. Beetles! Yeah, normal earth tongue is still cool, but uh... I, I swear the new stuff is rarer because I couldn't find it as easily. What are you? Oh, the cone beetle. I'm not sure what's special about the cone beetle. Yeah, that is Earth Tongue. I have been meaning to end this video for like 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, it's the modules are going to be a really cool addition, and uh, I look forward to seeing what people make. I, I never get too into modding communities, but I'll be interested to see what people make with this.